Hi everyone, this is a reading for you, <laughs> by me. We're going to have a look and see what is coming through for you and I also wanted to mention as well that if it ever resonates with you, do like the video, comment down below and subscribe if you wanted to. I post short readings every single day and have done for the last, well, four years I would say. Um, so it's a lot of dedication but I'm always here. Okay, let's have a look and see. Ooh. Ah, a lot of cards just also <laughs> fell down as well. So what I will say is that the prospect and the horizon in terms of your spiritual growth looks really beautiful. I feel like a lot of you are growing and getting stronger spiritually. I feel like you're absorbing a lot of knowledge, whether it's through tarot readings, through your own personal research. Um, you're learning a lot about your energy. You are learning a lot about other people's energies. You're learning a lot about um, how trauma affects people. You're learning a lot about psychology. You are learning a lot just in general, okay? Some of you may also just be at school or you might be taking on a course or you are just you know you're absorbing so much information and that is the energy here of neptune with the hanged man you are absorbing and this absorbing energy you're like a sponge right now um <laughs> you're like a sponge what can i say and uh, all of this that you are absorbing um is really powerful because you are then going to be in a mode really of power where you actually use this information as a tool for understanding others and there's this real sense of empathy that I am picking up on here but also for yourself the other thing that I'm really picking up on here is the king of wands and the two of cups clearly shows here someone romantically wanting to um, approach you there is a person here who wants to take action towards you they want to show you that they have an interest in you for some of you this person may already be in your life and they're just going to step up and sort of ramp up that sort of energy here of I like you I care about you do you want to go on a date let's do this let's have a phone call it's proactive energy okay king of wands is not someone who sits still and watches you from afar and then you have to be the one being like oh my god is that my soulmate like oh i should do something no king of wands okay when they see somebody they take action okay they don't let it go by some of you here okay whether you're male or female i just want to say this whether you're male or female, you might have more of this sort of masculine trait where when you see something you like, you feel like, oh my God, I can't lose this opportunity. I better do something. Even if you're a female, for example, okay? You just, you feel like you have to pursue. You have to chase. You have to, you have to. Otherwise you could lose an opportunity that you can't afford to lose. And so you live more in this sort of masculine sort of energy. Whereas I actually feel that your energy is going to switch a little bit and become a little bit more feminine, whether you're male or female, in the sense that you will start to realize that, do you know what? If it's meant for me, it will be. And if it's not, it won't. Because you're just so fed up of chasing people or pursuing people only to be let down constantly. And the thing here that I'm really picking up on is that you will be pursued, okay? If you're watching this, you will be pursued. And this person that pursues you, they know what they see in you. They like you straight away. They, they want to initiate things because they think like you to a degree, right? Like, oh my God, if I don't take this opportunity, then I'll never know they pursue you and that's what i see with the two of cups as well is that it feels very equal because yes you would be sort of more in your feminine sort of receiving energy but at the same time you would think to yourself wow like i'm being pursued for once but i would pursue <laughs> you know um and this person's very very attractive it's someone that you absolutely would like okay it's not someone that you would be like oh god why are they coming towards me you would think to yourself no i really like this person i care deeply about this person um you know which evolves but you would just think to yourself like i didn't have to do anything except for become attractive in my own energy and really just believe you know believe and and receive believe and you shall receive okay um because the tower here definitely goes to show that in your past you've had difficult moments you've had moments in which you have pursued you've chased you've ran after things and things have just gotten worse things have gotten more overwhelming sad mars energy here which basically shows that no matter how much you you try you feel like it always goes against you okay um you just get hurt. You find something on social media that absolutely shocks you, for example, about the person. You could be dating someone and then all of a sudden you find out, for example, that they have somebody else and it just shocks you, you know, and, and you are sad, you are upset, you cry a lot. Or that, um, let's say, for example, you start dating someone and then, you know, you, you realize that they have this completely different life. And 
again it shocks you and it just makes you feel like oh my god like i had this vision that we we're going to be together and everything's going to be like this and then and then you just get shocked by this thing that you never saw coming and i just feel here that you've just been shocked more than once that is for sure or that this person just abruptly breaks up with you you know and, and you see a future with them and you just you're you know you're just shook to your core basically and it's really upsetting so and that is something that i do see here as well um and just i just don't see this shocking energy coming through more again okay because this king of wands is going to pursue you this king of wands is going to make it really obvious that they have you know they, they have this liking towards you and feelings towards you and it's going to give you stability and security because you'll think to yourself okay now i'm going to match this person's energy and that's what you're going to do is that they will build up trust towards you and then you will put in a little bit it's almost like investing okay they invest a bit, you invest a bit. They invest a bit, you invest a bit. You start to feel secure with that, okay? I just don't feel like you're going to like throw everything into this and then you're going to be like, oh, I shouldn't have done this much, you know? Because I feel like you've over-invested in the past and it's been really hurtful. Um, Seven of Cups, all of those boxes that you want ticked in terms of a life partner and someone really loving is going to manifest for you. And again, because you are a sponge and you are absorbing so much knowledge in terms of psychology, spirituality, and other areas of your life, you're using it also for your own benefit as well to realize how to treat yourself better and also how to basically uh, deal with your own personal emotions and sensitivities as well. You are basically becoming stronger within yourself you're becoming more attractive within yourself and this is attracting the right kinds of energies because you're healing okay you're also healing from those tower moments that have happened to you in your past it's been difficult it's been traumatic it's been frustrating um it's been overwhelming right um and it's just been a lot basically long story short it's been a lot but the seven of pentacles here shows that there's so much growth that has happened in you and i think you should be really proud of that because you've been through pain you've been through heartbreak you've been through sadness um it's been really overwhelming it's been very very upsetting but here you are you know getting onto the other side where now you are starting to realize that what's for me will come my way and it will never pass me by and you're starting to re you're starting to be in a receiving mode rather than i need this i need this i need this and the universe doesn't know where to put your abundance because your hands are closed up and you're just holding on for dear life with so much attachment towards needing certain things that you feel are right but when you're just sort of like in that sort of like receiving mode the universe can put everything in your hands but you're just you're free and you know what yes it's harder to be like this right because you can feel vulnerable you can feel unsure you can feel like oh, i don't know what's gonna come but this is it this is the energy and when you're in this kind of energy the universe can put what's in your what's for your highest good you know in your life and um, especially with the seven of swords because you've been hurt so much in the past it's always like self-sabotaging um things in the past you know where you really just were holding on to things that were really painful you knew that they were painful but you were just hoping for some kind of reward now you are really you know in this energy towards new beginnings i feel and not constantly um expending your energy towards toxicity i really feel like you are in a completely different powerful mode here with the queen of swords like this is power right and truth and value within yourself where you know yourself you know what you want you know what makes you feel good and you want to embrace that you want to understand that you want to feel it and that's what we have here okay so i'm just going to shuffle these cards These are some love messages from this King of Wands energy that we picked up on. So I feel like they can have fire in their sun, moon, rising, or their Venus sign, okay? So that's really what I see here. Um, yeah, they can have um, fire energy in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. So we got here, I get jealous, and it's true, you know, when they think about what you are up to, or see you do certain things, you know, they do get jealous, thinking, oh, I wonder what you're up to, you know, and wondering if you're with someone else because you literally do take their breath away i mean we literally have that here but they feel like you are literally life partner material you have so many qualities and so many good virtues that they want to be with you you know they want to make things work with you they don't want you to go and give all of that energy out to someone else they want to genuinely have that energy also and they want your time they really will value your time everywhere i look i'm reminded of you so 
you know, they do think about you a lot, which I think is definitely very significant here as well. So this is your reading, okay? If this resonates with you, don't forget to like, share, comment. Um, also, personal services, personal readings, intention items, everything's listed down below. There's personal um, rituals for love, money, success, marriage, career, healing, black magic, energy removal, protection rituals. There's also personal tarot readings and intention items which have thousands of five-star reviews on shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which are handmade, <laughs> meditated with in sage which you can put under your pillow or keep around you, candles, sage bundles, teas. I also have TikTok and Instagram which is linked down below. So moonlight.guidance on Instagram, moonlight guidance on TikTok, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.